Hello there. So the next question that we have is subtree of another tree. This is an easy tagged question with a successful submission rate of 45%. So um, before we start, this question is an important one and I've seen it asked all the time in the interview rounds by the interviewer. Uh, basically to test your command over the tree data structure. What we have to do is we are given two trees with a root one tree with root and a, sub, a small tree with subroot and we have to identify if uh, the tree with subroot is a subset or uh, present in the tree with uh, root that is the tree on the left uh, as a subtree as a part of that tree so that is the goal here we have to identify either yes it is present true no it is not present false so here we have a tree with root and a tree with subroot. So the idea that we are going to follow along is um, we are going to traverse on the main tree with the root and uh, not traverse on the subroot right away. Uh, so what we will do is we will uh, keep uh, keep in uh, here keep uh, comparing the root only the root to the nodes of tree on the left that is the main tree root so we will start traversing the tree uh, the main tree with the tree with root root and not the tree with root sub root so let's uh, basically call this as the main and add this as the sub tree okay so we are going to traverse the main tree um, so uh, the mode of traverses doesn't matter. It could be breadth first search. It can be depth first search. However, in the when we will move on to coding, I will use depth first search. The reason is that it will make the code neat. Why? Because depth first search uh, performs its operation using recursions, and that looks very neat. Uh, even though it is not friendly straight away. Uh, but at this point it should be friendly and we are going to make use of those few lines of recursion to uh, ensure that we do not mess up our code. So this question, uh, we just need to traverse the tree, uh, the main, the left, the main tree. So for three and compare with the root of, compare the value with the root of the subroot, uh, subtree. So is three equal to four? No, it is not. Is 5 equal to 4? No, it is not. And is 4 equal to 4? Yes, it is. So this value is equal to the value of the root of subtree. The moment we uh, we hit this condition that the value of a node is equal to the value of uh, the root of the subtree, what we do is we will make a call to is match function. And this function unlike the main function in which we were traversing only the so in the main uh, dfs let's call or let's say main traversal what was what about we are doing is traverse only main tree uh, sub tree on hold right and the moment we hit this condition where uh, a node of the you know, while traversing the main tree where, where a node is equal in value to the root of the sub uh, sub tree what we will do is we will make a call to this is match function and here what will happen is we traverse both trees parallelly that is now i will move on to the left child of the main tree as well as the left child of the uh, sub tree and then compare the child if they are both equal i'll do the same for right and their ancestor if any uh, so that is what i'm going to do i'm going to parallelly traverse both the trees and compare the uh, node values and if at any point i find that the, there is uh, an incompatibility in the match uh, i will stop right there and return false no the uh, the subtree is not present over the uh, main tree for this uh, starting for for starting with this root so the idea is that just that that we traverse the main tree not the sub tree 
uh, but the moment we find the condition where the node value is equal to the subtree we start uh, traversing using an is match function where uh, we traverse uh, the child of main tree and the subtree as well and if all the nodes from their match we return true that yes there is a possible subtree present in the main tree if not we move on as if nothing happened so what will happen is we will check for node 1 is 1 equal to 4 uh, no it is not is 2 equal to 4 no it is not so we ended the entire traversal of the main tree and we never found a pattern in this case we did but if we didn't uh, we will just say no the, uh, we will return false here instead of true but here for the node with 4 we found the, an exact copy uh, exact uh, subtree present so we stopped right there and returned true now this might sound a lot if you begin to think from the coding perspective but don't be scared it's not that much we just have to do two traversals and we'll shift right to the editor and perform or implement it right now so i'll begin by initializing a flag variable and set it to false and this is going to be a global variable uh, the role is that it is going to signify if i have found a subtree in the tree so initially no i haven't found it the moment i'll be fine i'll find that subtree in the tree i'll i'll uh, tweak it to true next on i'm going to initialize my function is match which as an argument will take the root and subroot node pointers and for now i'll just pass it we'll look at this function later then we will start with defining the dfs function depth first search function the main function and it is going to take as an argument the root and subroot and remember we are in this function only going to traverse the tree with root and not the tree with subroot so what what we are basically doing is if flag equal to equal to true that is if uh, inside this function obviously this is dfs so recursion will take place so if inside this function uh, the flag is true just return uh, no need to waste any time or resources otherwise uh, we will proceed with if root dot val equal to equal to subroot dot val and this root is not just the root it will be like uh, the the nodes from the main tree so if uh, root is uh, root val is equal to subroot dot val uh, we are going to try matching them that is we will make a call to is match function and that will return us the flag like uh, the roots matched but are they perfectly uh, matching the is the entire subtree present in the tree so is match will check that and return a flag value and that will update the flag other than that we will proceed with the very uh, typical depth first search that is if there is a left child we will do perform uh, depth first search on the left child of the tree and remember uh, the sub subtree is going to be constant we are not changing that we are not traversing it in this function so again if there is a right child we will traverse to the right child and perform the depth first search uh, so this function will uh, will make a recursion call for the right child and subroot is as it is now outside uh, this function i want to uh, run this function and uh, starting with root and subroot as arguments from the main function and i'll return flag zero that is the global uh, flag value as the output for the function that is true or false so let's see what we can do in this function um let's begin by pointing out all the false cases the cases where uh, the subtree is not present so first of all let's try matching the values so if root dot val is not equal to subroot dot val uh, simply return false because then uh, the subtree is not present and these are generalized conditions if this takes place for any node along the traversal of this is match function which is also going to be a depth first search uh, this if any any time this conditions are triggered we want to stop the program that is return false this condition is that if there is a right child 
on the main tree but there is no right child on the sub tree or if there is a left child on the main tree but there is no left child on the sub tree return false because the structure is not uh, not uh, matching uh, both the trees must have exactly same pair of children and in fact the values should also match but if there is a left child and there is not in the sub tree just return false and similar is true for if there is not a left child or a, not a right child on the main tree but there is one on sub tree again we want to return false so this condition is going to make sure of that I'll return false and just a capital R here making sure yeah everything matches now if none of the above conditions were true and we have reached this else block it means it means that we are right on track and we need to proceed so the logics are going to be like so if both the trees have a left child what I want to do is uh, better I make the variables more meaningful so x is going to be left match and y is going to be right match and they both are set to true by initialized initialized as true and here I'm going to verify uh, update them so left match is equal to uh, recursion call to is match function and um, in the arguments I am shifting both the uh, roots to their left ch children so we are traversing both the trees now in the depth first in this is match function so as we discussed earlier on the whiteboard that is uh, we are just implementing that approach and for the right match as well I'm going to make a recursion called is match function uh, and make uh, the traversal to both the right children of both the uh, trees with root and sub root and I will return true only if uh, the left match is true and right match is true that is uh, both the left and right nodes are matching so I will use and logical and and I'll return that I'll run the code to immediately just check if syntax is uh, right and no it's not something's wrong here so it's not okay it's not tight it's right making sure any more errors nope so let's check for all the test cases and it's a success so that is it we have done it